So this is the worksheet number nine solution. In this worksheet, we studied about a simple present tense and how to write a process paragraph. Our next lesson will be about the big race and phonics long I sound. In the grammar, circle the simple present verb that agrees with the subject in each sentence. Number one, I work or works at a bank. The answer should be work because I uh, doesn't give the S to the verb. Number two, Maria live or lives with her parents. The answer is lives because Maria is singular. Number three, cows feed or feeds on, on grass. The answer is feed because cows is in plural. Number four, Artie and her husband tra travel or travels to Singapore every summer. Now, Artie and her husband, this is a plural, so I should use a travel, not the verb with S. Number five, Martin go or goes for a walk in the morning. The answer should be goes because Martin is singular. And because go ends with O, I should add ES. Number six, Ali always hurry or hurries to the bus stop. The answer is with IES because hurry uh, ends with Y, uh, with consonant then Y, and then I should uh, uh, remove the Y, put I, and add ES. Put the verbs in brackets using, using the correct form of simple present tense. Number one, we sometimes read comic books. Now the verb stays the same because we is in plural. Number two, the girls always obey the class rules. The girls always obey so also stays the same because the girls, the subject is in plural. Janet, number three, Janet never wear jeans to school. So Janet is singular, so the verb should take an S. It often rain on Sundays. When I have a frequency word, I should use simple present tense because it is singular, so the verb takes an S, becomes rains. Number five, you do your homework after school. Now you, uh, when I use do or does, these auxiliary verbs, are uh, uh, you takes do, so it stays the same. Number six, Pete's sister washed the family car. Now Pete's sister, this is only one. So uh, the verb should take an S, but because it ends with SH, I should add ES. Number seven, Simon have two rabbits and five goldfish. Now Simon is singular, as it can be replaced by he as a pronoun. And he, we say he has, we do not say have. So Simon has. Number eight, they, verb to be, Sandy's parents. When I have be, I should use am or is or are. And they takes are. Number nine, I, again, verb, verb to be, from Vienna, Austria. So I am from Vienna. Number ten, the student carry the books for the teacher. Now, the student is singular, so the verb should take S. Because it ends with Y, consonant plus Y, I should remove the Y and add IES. Change the sentences into negative. It means I should add not. My father makes breakfast. So here I should use do or does plus not. My father is the subject. It's only one. So my father takes does. And then I add not and then breakfast. My father does not make breakfast. Number two, they are 11. Here I have the verb to be are, so I only have to add not. I don't need to use do or does. Becomes they aren't 11 or they are not 11. Number three, the bird flies over the high buildings. Here I should use do or does. So, uh, since the bird is only one, it takes does, becomes the bird doesn't fly over the high buildings. Number four, I speak Italian. So, here I have to use do or does, and then because I have do, I, because I have I, I should add do. I do not speak Italian. Number five, Danny phones his father on Sundays. So Danny is singular, so I should use does plus not, and then the verb. But the verb, I should remove the S as a previous. Uh, so it becomes Danny doesn't phone his father on Sundays. 
Complete the questions with do or does. This is really easy. Number one, she take her dog for a walk in the morning. I should use does because I have she. Number two, your friend Paul work in the shop over there. I should use also does because I'm talking about someone's friend. Number three, uh, they know the answers to the exam. Since I have they, I should use do. Number four, blank, Bill teach math. So I have Bill, it means this is singular, it uses does. Number five, where blank your sister live? So here I should use uh, do or does. And here I should use does because I have, I'm talking about someone's sister. Only one, I'm, I'm asking about one. What time the lessons finish? So here I have the lessons, the lessons is in plural. So I use do. Number seven, you go to the coast in summer. When I have you, I should use do. Number eight, why they ask so many questions in class? And here I have they, so I should use do as well. Change the sentences from affirmative to interrogative. It means I have to make questions. Number one, I ride horses every weekend. So here, just like when you do it in the negative, you have to use the auxiliary verbs do or does. So since I have I, I should use do. And the question will be, do I ride horses every weekend? The answer here will be yes or no. Number two, he brings gifts to his family from the Grand Mall. Now, I, I said here that I, I'm asking about the place, where. So the answer will be from the Grand Mall. So the question is, where does he bring gifts to his family? Okay, where does he, brings, he bring gifts to his family from? The answer from the Grand Mall. Number three, Kim and Kate work every day. And here the question I use, the WH is when. So I'm asking about time. So the answer should be every day. So I can use these words to make my question by adding do or does. Since I have two, uh, two people, two subjects, I should use do. And the question will be, when do Kim and Kate work? Move on to the writing process, how to paragraph. Organizing your room can help you feel more calm and in control of your own life. In a well-organized process paragraph, mention four to five steps that help you organize your room easily. First, fill in the graphic organizer or the organizer briefly, then develop the ideas in a paragraph on the provided lines below. In the organizer, I can say, for example, step one, I take out all your belongings and then get rid of items I don't need. Clean out everything. Step four, reorganize the items you kept and then add some decorations. How my paragraph will be? It will look like this. This is the title, how to organize your room. Remember in the title, I have the words in capital letter. I, I leave a space or indent in the beginning of the paragraph and then I write my topic sentence. Organizing your room by following these simple five steps can help you feel more calm and in control of your own life. I got the topic sentence from the prompt. Now I will write the steps. First, comma, take out all your belongings from their current location so you can decide what to throw or keep. Second, get rid of the items that you do not need or use anymore. After that, so this is a transitional word, I can use it. Clean out your closet and drawers and wipe down all of the surfaces. Now you can reorganize the items you kept in a way you can easily get what you want without messing up everything. Last, add some decorations to your room, like having pictures on the wall or putting a small flower pot near your bed. To end, or at last, if you want to keep your room clean and organized, do these steps from time to time. 
So as you can see, when I wrote my paragraph, I added more details. I gave examples, for example, and I put some reasons as well. So this is the end of our uh, video. Thanks a lot for listening.